everyone and welcome to my kitchen. So today I'm going to attempt to make a raw cracker that tastes good. That was um, one of the, the struggles that I had when um, I changed my lifestyle is just trying to find a cracker that that is really good and satisfying. Um, and so I made something similar to this recipe but I um, added a couple things. So I'm gonna try to attempt to make a really good, yummy cracker that, um, you know, when I used to eat crackers, I loved cheesy, sour cream and onion type of crackers, salty, savory. Um, those were my favorite crackers. So I decided to make this one with onion, some dates, some flax, uh, nutritional yeast, and uh, some salt. So we got salty, savory, oh, so good, right? Um, and so I'm going to attempt to put that all together and just see how it turns out. So I, um, these are raw, like I said, so you do need a dehydrator for this recipe. Um, so the onions that I'm using are, um, I'm using leeks. And this is what a leek looks like. So you really wanna, cut them up, chop them. I normally, I'll cut the end off, throw that away, and I'll just use this part of the leek and all the way up to about here. I wash it, I soak it in apple cider vinegar, wash it really good because they are, a lot of dirt um, gets in inside. So you just wanna wash them and clean them good. And this is what they look like after they're washed and cleaned. So, okay, so, the first thing we need to do when we're making our cracker is we need to make a date paste. Um, and oh, another thing I'm gonna add to my cracker is jalapeno. So it's like onion, cheesy, jalapeno, sweet, salty, all in one cracker. Like this is gonna be pretty good, right? I hope, anyways. If it's not, I just will not post this video. But okay, so let's get to the recipe. So here I have one cup of soaked dates and I soaked these for about four hours and I use good filtered water because when you blend it in your Vitamix blender, you want to also use the same water, but you always want to, anytime you're soaking your nuts and seeds, um, anything, you always want to use good filtered water. So I'm gonna go ahead and add that to my Vitamix blender. And to that, because I want a, a little bit of jalapeno, just a little bit, because I don't want it like on fire, right? So, and then I'm gonna put it in. So now I'm gonna go ahead and pour my date paste into my bowl. And to that, I'm gonna add my leeks. I'm gonna add my flax. And I'm going to add my nutritional yeast to it and my salt. And I'm going to add two cups of water. Now we're just going to stir it all up together. So once it's stirred really good um, and you want to set this aside and let the water absorb with the flaxseed and it'll get thicker. Um, and so we'll set this aside for about five minutes. So I've been letting my mixture sit for about five minutes and you see how thick it is? And you're just going to put a blob right in the middle of your dehydrator sheet and you're just going to use a thin spatula and you're just going to make, push it out and make a thin layer. Oh. 
So here I made two trays with um, my batter. And so I'm gonna put it in my dehydrator. So I have my two sheets in my dehydrator. And let's see, so now I am going to start my timer. Uh, let's see, so I'm gonna do 24 hours. So in the morning, they shall be done. And I'm going to have my temp at 113. Okay, so that's it. So I will see you guys in the morning. So it's the next day and I took my crackers out. So they've been in the dehydrator for about 24 hours. And one of the things that I did notice, if you wanna take it out a little bit earlier, they are um, a little more softer, more like bread. So um, um, I wish I would have taken half of them out and then did half of them crackers and half of them like flatbread. Um, but they are still really good. I think the only thing that I would do differently is I would have put more jalapeno in it because I can't taste the jalapeno. Um, but they are pretty crunchy like a cracker. Like this one's pretty thin. So if you really want them really crunchy, um, make them super, super thin. Some of them I did pretty thick like this one. Um, so it's, it is, it's, it's more, I mean, it is like a cracker, but, um, it's not real crunchy like a cracker, but they're still so, so good. Um, I am going to enjoy these when I have a salad. Um, so yeah, so that's the cracker and, um, I hope you guys give them a try and I will see you guys in the next video. God bless. Bye.